What's up guys, it's your boy Jay Color here with a special Wednesday edition of the main event. Don't worry, the Friday episode is still coming. There's just a lot to talk about this week. So I decided to hit you guys with a Wednesday episode. And we have here Roman Reigns versus Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar in a triple threat match, a recreation of their match at Fastlane. And I'm going to talk about Fastlane, give my review of it. I want to talk about each match, the things I like, the things I didn't like, and then I'll give my overall thoughts at the end. Now, first up is the Divas Tag Match. It was incredibly impressive to me how well everybody in this match did, mainly Naomi. Now, I know Sasha Banks is great, I know Becky Lynch is great, but I've never really been exposed to Naomi before. I've said this before, I don't watch WWE's weekly programming because I don't think it's been very good lately. But I was really kind of surprised by how well Naomi did. Outside of maybe her finisher, which is incredibly goofy. But that being said, this was really a showcase for the faces in the match. Sasha and Becky Lynch. And it's a way to carry them over until one of them, or maybe both of them, competes at WrestleMania for the Divas Championship. I thought both Sasha and Becky were very impressive. Sasha is super over with the crowd with the We Want Sasha chants. And even Becky took a super hard bump to the outside. And this was a good tag match. I was very impressed by all the competitors. And it was a good way to start off the pay-per-view. Next we have Owens versus Ziggler. It's been said by a lot of people that this match isn't going to impress anymore because they've seen them compete over and over and over again like I said because I don't watch the weekly programming this was my first experience watching uh, Owens versus Ziggler match and I thought it was a good match oh, Owens is always incredibly charismatic and I really liked his line your hometown likes me more than you I thought it was kind of apparent that the announce team wasn't doing a very good job which is probably my biggest negative with this match but the, well, they didn't do a good job at all during the pay-per-view. Another thing that I like to say is that the super kick has really become oversaturated in, in WWE's programming as of late. But I'm always a stickler for a good super kick, and this match had three of them. This was a good match. Owens needed to win to keep him looking good, and he did win. Next up was the six-man tag, the Titans versus the Wyatt family, and this match was just utterly confusing and disappointing. They had the promo at the beginning, which I thought was a parody at first. I didn't know what was going on. It was super cliched, but it ended up being not a parody, and the whole match was just kind of not fun to watch. There was little to no psychology to any of it. Strowman is still greener than a Christmas tree. Ryback kind of looks comical in shorts. He Maybe he's worn shorts before. This is the first time I've ever noticed it. And the cameramen were kind of missing things as the match went on. Not that I cared to see any of it because the match itself wasn't that great. And then as you go into the end of the match with Ryback hitting these running knee strikes, which was that a dig at CM Punk? I don't know. He was hitting the scoop slams after that. And then they said that he hit his finisher, but... It, it didn't look like his finisher to me. But anyway, the Titans won, which made no sense. The Wyatts needed the win more. But, I mean, it was a disappointing end to an otherwise bad match. Next up, you had the Divas, Divas title match between Charlotte and Brie Bella. I thought they did a good job of leveraging Brian's retirement going into this match and all the emotions that are associated with that. That said, Brie is very awkward in the ring her mat work isn't good and she just kind of didn't look good in her work she is not up to par with charlotte and then the ending to the match was very confusing i didn't understand what really happened part of that might have been because charlotte wasn't selling very effectively but i mean it just kind of she had a Brie had a finisher on and then all of a sudden Charlotte had a finisher on and that was the end of the match I like the stuff that they included with capitalizing on the emotions that were sure going to be accompanying Brie after Brian retired and her sister's career might be ending 
but otherwise it was a mediocre match. My most anticipated match was AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho and it sure didn't disappoint. I think this was probably the match of the night. They had an interesting package in the front with AJ Styles, a, a video package, which kind of included old video of him, the, which is the only video that WWE owned of AJ Styles. But it was it was kind of interesting. They they played the match strangely where they were acting like maybe Jericho was going to go heel even teasing after the finish, but they didn't they didn't go that way. But I th I thought maybe it was kind of interesting that they didn't go that way. It, it, it was different at least. This was a very good match. The crowd was into it. There were a few botches here and there, but otherwise the work was, was very good. The one thing I didn't like was the fact that Styles' finisher, which was a lot of people's first introduction to the Styles Clash, didn't win the match. It didn't feel like they protected that move enough, and Jericho kicked out of it. But otherwise, like I said, still a good match, still a match of the night. Then you had these two segments in between here and the the main event which I kinda of feel like started deflating all the momentum that you, that match had just earned you had a, the cutting edge peep show with Edge and Christian which it felt like they brought these guys in to get the New Day over more as heels but they didn't go that way at all at first the New Day appeared like they were heels but then the League of Nations came out, and then I wasn't quite sure who were the heels, who were the faces. The New Day and Edge and Christian started taunting the League of Nations, and then it looked like the New Day were faces. The whole thing was kind of a mess, and it didn't go anywhere. It didn't set anything up, and it just ended. And then after that, you had the match with the Social Outcasts and R-Truth, which... Did anybody even know this match was going to happen? It just came out of nowhere. And it wasn't good. It was a couple minutes long. And it deflated any sort of momentum that was left in this pay-per-view. I don't understand what was happening there. But anyway, after that, we go into the main event. Which was a good match. But ultimately, the outcome was the outcome that people didn't want. But it was the outcome that was the most predictable. Which was... Hashtag boom and reigns won the match. For this to be effective going into what they had to work with, I mean the only way that you were going to get a good reaction I think would to be Roman losing to Dean Ambrose or either Roman or Dean turning heel. Probably more Roman turning heel than Dean. But neither one of those things happened. Roman pinned Ambrose clean. The lead up to this was a good match the match was good I liked how Brock dominated in the beginning of it I liked how Ambrose attempted that German suplex but couldn't get anything out of Brock I liked how Ambrose dove to the outside and Brock caught him and hit him with a belly to belly and I liked how they took Brock out of the match by putting him through two announce tables and burying him after the the second announce table spot I liked all that stuff Anytime Ambrose and Reigns went one-on-one, -on -one, though, it was clear that everybody was behind Ambrose. The fans were strongly behind Ambrose to win the match. And then as you went into the finish, which this finish also ended out of nowhere, they had Roman hit a spear on Lesnar. Lesnar put it on a Kimura lock. Reigns picked up Lesnar. And then Ambrose came in with a chair and decimated both Lesnar and Roman Reigns. He was beating the crap out of both of them. But then Reigns just hopped up, hit Ambrose with the spear, and got the 1 2 3. And the crowd began to boo, and they tried to hide this with Pyro and all that stuff. But it was clear that the fans didn't want this. Now, overall, there were some good matches in this pay per view, but it wasn't a good pay per view. Nothing surprising happened. WWE just spun its wheels with this. Everything that you thought would have happened going into this happened. The one main surprise out of anything was the fact that the Titans won against the Wyatt family, which is not a good surprise. 
I'm, I think anybody that would have predicted it would have said the Wyatts were going to win. And they needed the win. They needed that rub because they've not been looking very strong on programming. But then you gave it to the Titans. And I have no idea why they didn't need the win. And this was the biggest surprise of the night. They spun their wheels with their with their with their cutting edge peep show nothing happened out of that except for edge and christian got to talk about their show on the network you had the main event confirm what everybody thought was going to happen which was roman reigns was going to head into wrestlemania against triple h no championships changed hands no debuts were made end zone cast were nowhere to be seen Nothing exciting came out of this. Now, I don't really know if the WWE has concrete plans for going into WrestleMania for what they're going to do. They have a lot of guys out due to injury. And it's taken them a long time to try to build any sort of matches going into WrestleMania. And I don't think we're probably going to start seeing these things until the next few weeks. We're not going to start seeing the emergence of these feuds that lead into these matches at Mania. And the one match that we know about is the match that nobody wants. So I don't really know what WWE's plans are here. But this pay-per-view didn't give us any answers. It didn't give us any confidence that the WWE had a handle on what they were doing. Anyway, thanks guys for watching the main event. Let me know in the comments if there's another topic or match you'd like to see, and I will see you guys next time.